Introduction When you are feeling very hot and need some air to cool yourself, the first thing you will do is to switch the fan on. Or you want to have a cup of hot coffee to beat the cold winter. You press the switch to put the hot plate on. Why do you need to press the electric switch to revolve the fan or heating the plate? Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Describe the flow of electrons in a circuit Construct an actual electric circuit Draw diagrams of electric circuits Explain the path of an electric circuit An electric cell or a dry cell is the source of electricity for the bulb to glow. Let us know how the bulb in a torch glows. Step 1. Take out the bulb from a torch. You can see that the bulb is a small globe of thin glass inside which a coiled filament is fixed on two thick wires. One of these thick wires is connected to the metal case around the base of the bulb. The other wire is connected to the metal tip at the base of the bulb. The metal case and metal tip at the base are two terminals of the bulb. Take two pieces of half meter long insulated wires. Remove the plastic covering at the ends of each piece of wire with the help of a knife. Now fix the bulb on a bulb holder. Then two screws on the bulb holder become two terminals. The insulated wires are connected to the two terminals on the holder as shown in the picture. Finally, connect free end of one wire to the positive terminal of the cell and free end of the other wire to the negative terminal of the cell. This may be done with the help of a rubber band or an adhesive tape. After the connection, you can see that the bulb lights up Closed and open circuit. If you see both the wires are connected to both the terminal, it is an unbroken path. It is a closed circuit. Disconnect one of the wires. You will find that the path is broken now. Also, the bulb doesn't light up since electricity can't flow through this circuit. A broken path is known as an open circuit. Electric switch. We put a switch on or off whenever we want to use or not the electric appliance such as the fluorescent tube, fan, AC, etc. A switch for a bulb is pressed down to complete a circuit. The bulb glows. To put the bulb off, we press the switch up. This breaks the circuit and the bulb glows no more. The switch is so made that under normal conditions, the circuit remains open. The current does not flow through the circuit. When we press the other end of the strip on the switch, it gets connected to close the circuit. The current flows through the circuit and the bulb starts glowing. A switch is a device to close or open a circuit. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. An electric bulb glows when electric current passes through it. A closed circuit allows the electric current to flow through it. An open circuit is a broken circuit and the electric current does not flow through it. A switch is a device to close or open a circuit.